Russian border breach. Freedom of Russia Legion declares intent to reach Moscow. Fighters of the Freedom of Russia Legion consider their main mission to be March on Moscow, aimed at liberating the Russian Federation from the President Vladimir Putin, according to Newsweek. In a comment to the material, one of the volunteers of the Freedom of Russia Legion, Alexei Baranovsky, with the call sign Lutik, stated that the fighters intended to eventually carry out a march on Moscow for liberation of Russia from Putin. We may not be able to pull it off now, but that is our overarching mission, he said. Baranovsky noted that the operation of the rebels to break through the Russian border is related to the so-called presidential election in the Russian Federation. We may not be able to stop the federal election, but we can disrupt the regional votes, so we are doing what we can by bringing this air of freedom to at least some parts of the country, he explained. According to Baranovsky, insurgent formations want to activate the frightened internal opposition in Russia. As citizens of Russia, we decided that we also want to take part in this election, and this is our way of getting our voices heard. We are voting for an armed resistance to the Putin regime, for an uprising, a revolution, he said, calling on all Russians to join volunteers in the fight against the dictator. On March the 12th, the Russian Volunteer Corps, together with the Freedom of Russian Legion and the Siberian Battalion, broke through the border with Russia and took control of several settlements, including in the Belgorod and Kursk regions. In addition, according to RBC Ukraine, Russians complained about drone attacks for two nights in a row. Putin commented on the events in the Belgorod and Kursk regions, blaming Ukraine for this. Putin linked the border breakthrough by volunteers with alleged failures on the front and plans to disrupt the expression of the will of citizens in the so-called presidential election in the Russian Federation. Russian volunteers announced strikes on Russian military positions in Belgorod and Kursk. Residents of these cities were urged to evacuate. Polish troops would never leave Ukraine. Russia is technically prepared for nuclear war. Putin. Any attempt to send Polish troops into Ukraine could end in a long-term occupation. Russian President Vladimir Putin has warned in an extensive interview with Russia One TV broadcaster and Ria Novosti. If Polish troops enter the territory of Ukraine in order to, as they say, secure the Ukrainian-Belarusian border, for example, or in some other places to free up Ukrainian rear military units to participate in hostilities on the front line, then I think that Polish troops will never leave, Putin said, according to excerpts from the interview. The deployment of NATO troops to Ukraine amid the conflict with Russia is not unthinkable, Polish Foreign Minister Radislav Sikorski claimed last week. He was commenting on a statement by French President Emmanuel Macron, who said late last month that he cannot exclude the possibility of soldiers from the US-led military bloc being sent to aid Kiev. Putin believes that Polish officials dream of returning those lands that they consider historically their own and which were taken from them by Joseph Stalin and transferred to Ukraine. They certainly want them back, so if official Polish units enter there, they are unlikely to leave, he claimed. Putin said that Russia is technically prepared for nuclear war and if the US sends troops to Ukraine, it will be seen as a significant escalation of the war. From a military technical point of view, we are ready of course, said the 71-year-old Putin in response to a question about whether the country is truly prepared for nuclear war. Putin said that the US understands that if they deploy troops to Ukrainian territory, Russia will consider this a step toward intervention. In the US, there are enough experts in Russian-American relations and in the field of strategic deterrence. So, I don't think everything is rushing headlong here, but we are ready for this, Putin said. 300,000 NATO troops are ready to enter Poland to fight Russia. NATO is ready at a high level to send 300,000 soldiers to Poland. This was said by the deputy chief of the Polish general staff, Karol Dymanowski. American soldiers have been stationed in Poland for a long time, several thousand of them. They train with us regularly. Remember that the United States and other allies also support us in other areas, in the air, at sea, in space, and in cybersecurity, he said. Asked whether it is possible that the number of American troops in Poland will increase to 100,000, he said that this is a realistic scenario. This is an assumption of NATO's latest plans, which were approved at the political level at the last summit in Vilnius. Until now, there were 40,000 soldiers at NATO headquarters, now there are 300,000. 
Dymanowski said. He added that the soldiers will arrive in the country under threat even before the war starts. According to him, there are various ready-made scenarios to adequately respond to aggression. NATO maintains eight battle groups across Eastern Europe aimed at acting as an initial frontline defense in the event of a Russian invasion. Four are in the Baltic states and Poland, and these were supplemented by the creation of four more in Bulgaria, Hungary, Romania and Slovakia after the attack on Ukraine. Germany said this month it would contribute a brigade of troops to defend Lithuania, where the country leads a 1,000-member battle group, although it emerged that the bulk of the extra 3,500 Berlin intends to contribute would be based on its own soil, ready to move farther east if needed.